Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm just sitting outside, it's such a beautiful day today. I would say it's probably about 73, uh, a little windy. And uh, we've been watching my brother's family dog who is like a little nephew to me. Um, try to turn this camera around so you can see him. Um, well, there he's barking, but can see he's a big guard dog he protects us from everything my hair is crazy today it's funny when I um when I do my hair straight put a little eye makeup on a little too much anyway when I do my hair straight um it stays really good for the next day sometimes two days but when I put like a little more defined curl it gets like crazy when I sleep so kind of crazy but it's a Sunday afternoon and we're just relaxing out here I took a little ride to one of the local stores didn't buy anything but it was nice to just kind of get out and um, I brought my tripod out here but I always forget and I don't have it the other direction but that's okay wanted to show you this um, one of my favorite pieces of jewelry this was my mom's gold necklace and this little cross they used to call these diamond cut back in the day this belonged to my aunt blanca and this is a piece that i had made for my brother and i when my mom passed away the funeral home made me a silver pendant with her finger print i think it's the index finger and so I had this made for my brother and I, like I said, and on the back, I put an engraving with the phrase I always say that we were, if I can get this around, we were blessed to be hers and her name. And I just kind of put this all together. This necklace she got from, um, she had like a club with ladies that they originally started doing ceramics together back in the late 80s, I would say. And then they transformed it to like a woman's club where they would meet and have dinner together once a month. And they would take turns going to different people's houses. And then they would, you know, gab and have like coffee and dinner and just have a good time together. Sorry about this shaking of the camera. And then they started collecting like $10 every time, you know, they had their little club dinner. And at the end of the year, they would go and see a play and go to dinner. And they had all the money in their little kitty. It was really nice. Well, when we moved to Florida, they got her this beautiful necklace and a um, filigree heart. I took the heart off because I liked the way the cross and my mom's fingerprint look and it shows a lot with blouses i had this big one the, the fingerprint i should say on a long necklace but it didn't show a lot and i really when i wear it i want people to see it because it's so pretty and i used to just wear it like that but uh i found this cross that i inherited basically from my titi blanca titi is auntie in Spanish and uh, I put it with there. They were very close sisters. My Aunt Blanca lived in Puerto Rico and we live in Florida, but they've talked all the time. And I always say that my aunt couldn't live without my mom because my mom passed away. And then about six months later, my aunt did. My mom came from a very big family. My grandfather was married twice but with my grandmother, they had over 10 children because they had a couple children um, that I'm finding out in genealogy before anyone and they passed away as children. So my mom grew up with a lot of sisters and uh, it was really nice, nice to have a large family. I think I've spoken of it before here. My dad had uh, eight children, uh, six children and eight originally and so there were a lot of um, family gatherings 
but since you know time people have passed away lost a lot of my dad's family his brother specifically uh, in the 90s and then my last uncle to pass away passed away about 2017 and um, now in my mom's family we have uh, my aunt Maria who I love dearly and we have Louis trying to get some love here anyway we have uh, a couple I have two uncles left and um, so our big family is kind of dwindled down we don't see many people because they live further away from us and then like most families there are some people that just kind of do their own thing in life and uh, it's just been a big change especially since my mom passed away and um, I feel bad for my dad a lot because he had like a nice little social life with my uncles and through time and people's choices we just don't see them much but you know we still live a happy life and do what we do and uh, what else <laughs> I'm watching out for Louie I have like his little uh, leash it's like a harness because he's a chihuahua and so he has a harness because his neck is so little and um, I have it like hooked up to the chair leg and then I'm also stepping on it but he's a, he's a good boy he, he'll stay here with me I'm kind of like a second mommy especially when he's here um, visiting and uh, so I went out earlier today as I think I said and uh, didn't buy anything but I walked around a store that we have here in Florida it's called Bell's and something just told me come home I think Louie wants you and he did and he's getting tangled now <laughs> my, my thing he's so cute and uh, he's just kind of getting closer to me I think probably soon he'll want to go in but I just want to check in on this Sunday and um, say hi I um, appreciate the people that have been commenting on my vlogs. I really like to do them. Uh, I didn't think I was too much of a vlogger, and I do want to get out and show you more of where I live. Um, but for now, it's just kind of stories, hello, and so on. Uh, I highly recommend these, not specifically this kind, because everybody's different, but the key glasses, they're really nice. They, um, I had one pair, but I really didn't take care of them and they got scratched. But these, I keep them in my case. They're perfect for when it's really sunny. And like right now, it's just a little overcast, but we have sun, you know, peeking through and they're still really good too. And that's the brand, not sponsored. Nobody knows who I am, like they say. But I got these at Dillard's. Um, they do have a website. But now they're branching out more in different stores. In fact, one of the malls that I really like to go to is they're building a key store itself. So I look forward to seeing what they have. And he must be uh, like really comfortable. Goes, he's sorry, he keeps seeing the top of my head. He keeps uh, like he's hiding over here. I'm going to see if I can turn the camera. And if you don't see him, I'm sorry. But uh, you see him now. Hope you can see him if you didn't sorry uh once i put it on record i can't like switch it so have a great day i hope you have a oh so sorry a great upcoming week and i will talk to you soon and uh just take care of yourselves bye bye